my brothers and sisters. <coughs> we gather for worship in the name of the Father and of the Son <coughs> and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Compassion and forgiveness belong to the Lord our God, though we have rebelled against him. Let us then renounce our willfulness and ask his mercy by confessing our sins in penitence and in faith. First, keeping a moment of quiet reflection. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against thee and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life to the glory of thy name. Amen. The Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. In silence we pray. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Ezekiel. In my vision, a man brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There, water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east, for the temple faced east. And the water down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me round on the outside to the outer gate that faces towards the east, and the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastwards with a cord in his hand, the man measured one thousand cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim, that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the river bank a great many trees on one side, and this water flows towards the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be many fish once these waters reach there. It will become fresh, and everything that will, will live where the river goes. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit 
will be food and their leaves for healing. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord is a great God. Harden not your hearts, O that today you would listen to his voice. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. There was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate there is a pool called in Hebrew Beth Sathar, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said this to you? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus, because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. And so let us pray to the Lord, who guides us through the wilderness of temptation, into our fellowship with him and with one another. Lord of the Church, we pray for your Church throughout the world. We pray for your Church in this diocese. And today, within the diocese, we pray for the parish of St. Luke Camberwell, for all who work and worship there. We give thanks that we have been able to return to worshipping together here in church. And we pray your blessing upon our plans and preparations for Passion Tide, Holy Week and Easter. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the world, we give thanks for your creation for all that you give us. We pray that we may be wise and faithful stewards of it. For those whom you call to positions of leadership, for those who represent us in Parliament, on the Greater London Assembly, on our own local council, We pray that by your grace they may act with justice, integrity, and for the good of all. 
Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. God, who in the Trinity is perfect community, we pray your blessing upon the communities of which we are part. We give thanks for our life together here in this place. For our diversity, for our history. We pray your blessing upon our places of work and leisure, upon our homes and our families. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we give thanks that your Son in his earthly life healed the sick. We pray your blessing upon those who minister healing in our own time. For our doctors, nurses and all healthcare workers particularly serving this community. For our hospitals and hospices. We pray for those in particular need, all whose lives are scarred by emotional, physical or mental pain. For Sally, Mindy, Matrix, Roy, Roy Lewis, Isaac, Albie. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. God of resurrection, we give thanks for all those who have walked with us the way of faith and who are now at rest. For those who will die this day. For those who have died in recent days, including Maggie Parker, Albert John Robert Hall, and Anthony Edward Dingle. All those whose anniversary is at about this time, including William Bromwich, Betty Short, and Jack Short. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And so we come before you now in a moment of quiet and make our own personal prayers. Since we are justified by faith, we come together giving thanks for all that we have opportunity to pray for. And so we gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of Blessed Mary and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you.
God of our journey. As we walk with you on the path of obedience, sustain us on our way and lead us to your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, <clears throat> Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, for in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may learn, may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendor of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy, and join with saints and angels, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with blessed Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his back to the smiters and did not hide his face from shame, give us grace to endure the sufferings of this present time with sure confidence in the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God, who from the death of sin raised you to new life in Christ, keep you from falling and set you in the presence of his glory and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Lent and always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>